The heritage area has just been a blessing to this museum and to our community. The fact that often um, funds connected to general operating support or funds that allow you to do the little programs, those grants aren't available to small museums like ours. I'm Dr. Joanne Martin, founder of the National Great Black Civil Rights Museum in Baltimore, Maryland. Our mission is to reveal the little known, often neglected facts of uh, African American history. As a community-based museum, it's also to provide an opportunity for children in our community to get programming, to learn their history, to feel a sense of ownership of this museum, and to um, preserve the legacy of the people of African American descent. The museum is 33 years old this year. Uh, we started in 1983. Set up the museum, we were quickly running out of space, so we started trying to acquire um, buildings here, and the first building that we acquired was the Bauer & Schmidt Mansion and the two buildings next to it. We have um, about 145 wax figures. For me, those wax figures put a face on history, it, and it says um, from the very darkest to the very lightest and everything in between, this is who you are. We want you to embrace it and feel empowered, not ashamed. My husband was very much a product of his time, of the black consciousness, black power, civil rights era. And he had a sense of, of the tradition of museums serving as um, community builders, as catalysts for revitalization. The reason we're here, that we moved into this community, was that we wanted to be able to create jobs and opportunity and to be a part of the the revitalization of the community to be a part of the solution. When we acquired the, um, the mansion property um, and eventually the, the same problem with the, uh, the firehouse and that was a, a deteriorating uh, roof. The roof problem was creating interior problems in our building and so the, the buildings both the firehouse and the uh, mansion were being just severely compromised by the uh, water damage. So we applied for um, funds from the heritage area to um, make those repairs. And that grant just really saved those buildings in, in, a, in a real way. And um, we've since have obtained a grant from the Community Legacy, though, so it will allow us to make the, uh, the interior repairs. But those repairs would have been for naught had we not been able to um, fix the roof. Uh, and in um, November, of 2015 uh, through the Mayor's Blight Elimination Program, uh, we were able to um, demolish 16 of the 25 properties on this block for a block loan expansion that will tell, instead of 5,000 years of history, over 250,000 years of history. The economic impact study is very, very important because we want to be able to show um, that this uh, project, that our expansion, has um, a life and a significance above and beyond buildings. We've been able to show that um, since most of our visitors come from out of state, that's the definition of, uh, of tourism impact. Uh, and that when people come to this community, um, they want to know that there is a, a restaurant that can serve them, um, that there are other things to see close to this museum. But it also means that they're going to support the city at, at large. And, and so we wanted a study to be able to show that. The Heritage Area has a program that is sensitive to the need to support those important programs that allow our buildings to, um, to, to remain strong and thrive and not deteriorate. It recognizes the needs of museums of all sizes, but mainly a museum um, like ours that needs something more than more traditional grant programs provide and a sensitivity to those needs.